I made further inquiries and I discovered that the confusion in Dioka is because the prince they are planning to make king. I don't know somebody. Says who? Says who? No, tell me. Says who? Oguma, is this really you? Father, you know her? She's the queen mother of Dioka Kingdom. This woman. About what? About what just happened back there. What did you do to them? Nothing. I mean, I don't know. I told you there are forces greater than me. I mean, forces that are mightier than me, whispering things into my ear. Anything I wish for, anything at all. It just happened somehow. I don't know. So, are you saying that if I finally make you my wife, that if you desire for us to be the richest in our kingdom, that it will happen. And who are you planning to make your wife? Nerdy. Don't break my heart with this question. You will not, you will not claim that you do not know that I love you. Is that not why I've been risking my life for you? Hey, JC. I appreciate everything you have been doing for me. Honestly, I do. But please stop talking about making me your wife. You cannot marry me. You what can't. does that even mean? What does that mean? So if you feel that I can't marry you, who then do you feel that will marry you? I don't know, I don't know. Hope you're okay. I think there's something wrong with that girl. Oh, you finally agreed with me. What do you mean, finally agreed with you? I told you we should look for something to tell the princess, but you insist we must track them. Obiakwe, you know what? What we did is the right thing. It's against the oath we took as guard to mm. lie to the princess. Mm. Even Medi have pumped demon into us. Obiakwe, sometimes you begin to talk like a baby. Nobody pumped demon into us. We are masquerade. Let's go. We are one people. I've taken my time to analyze the whole situation and I can tell you for free without fear of contradiction that you have everything to solve the problem. You call me your love, yet you partner with my enemies to frustrate me. How have I frustrated you? You were angry and I know your actions were based on your anger. Most times, not all the times. When we act in anger, we make mistakes. Obina, I made it clear that I do not want to entertain visitors from Dioka Kingdom. You know this rule, yet you decided to break it. Why would you come with your noble of Dioka to visit me? What were you thinking? That's because of the tension in the land. 
and we didn't have to. Work. There is no tension in the land. The stupid prince of Dioka Kingdom, young Escoba, kidnapped my sister. But I am going to tell him that there is something in a king of kingdom that is more powerful than the occultism. Um, well, I, I was wondering why you are avoiding us to involve the police in this. It has already escalated into a full... Abina, please stay out of this case. I am on top of this matter. Hmm? Besides, I need no distractions. Wait, let others come, please. Okay. Now I know that there are forces that watch over the palace. What do you mean by that? Since that afternoon, Princess Maureen pushed me into sin. I've known no peace. Cynthia, I don't know you as a talkative in this palace. But right now, we don't understand whatever you are saying. What do you mean by Princess Maureen pushed you into sin? Even the chief priest we all respect so much. Who walks with this aroma in him? He's not a man of integrity. <sighs> what has the chief priest got to do with this? Like I said before, Cynthia, you don't talk too much. But right now, I don't believe you understand the gravity of what you are saying. How dare you question the integrity of our chief priest? How? Do you know what you said just now can cost your life? Yes, it can cost your life, Cynthia. It's okay. Just, just, just listen to me. Listen to me. Let me say this. Oh God. It was actually Princess Maureen who poisoned the king. <laughs> Wait. That same allegation that made Ned to leave the palace are you a child? It's not a mere allegation. I was actually the person who served the king the poisoned apple he ate that night. See, when the princess noticed that the chief priest would be involved in this, she went ahead to bribe him. Cynthia, I'm finding this difficult to understand. Can you say this before the princess? Knowing the gravity of what you are saying, can you say this before the princess? I am not talking because I want to talk. And it's not because I talk too much. The forces in this palace are tormenting me. I want to say the truth and be free. Then go ahead and tell the king. This is not good at all. Why would the chief prince allow himself to be bribed? See, that day he came, he walked onto the palace with a fake offer. That was why Princess Maureen swore to it and she never died. Fake or for? If what you've just said now is the truth, that our chief priest will never die well. I swear to God. There was an attempt to turn me off in this palace. What? All this while I've been sick, I was poisoned. Poisoned by someone who should not even have thought of it. Father, who did this? Who could that person be? Who had the audacity, the impetus 
to try to take the life of Igwo Obasi, of Ikenga Kingdom. Father, such person deserves to rot in the deadliest part of prison. So I need to know who this person is. If not for the forces that keep watch over this palace, I would have been dead before now. Father, who is this person? Who is this human? Adese. Yes, Father. That person is you. Serve this to my father. You know this is his favorite, right? Yes. Good. Go! Okay. And stop shaking. Cynthia, what is it? My princess, there is bad news. What news? Neddy, the kitchen assistant, told me about the poisoned apple. <laughs> she did what? How did she find out? I don't know. I never told anyone about this. She is so mysterious. There is something about her that I can't place my finger on. She's possessed with something. No, no, no. This is this is not right. This is not right. Hold on. Are you sure about what you just said to me? Yes, she said that to me. But I have a plan. I want to go and meet Yonou and tell him about this. Thereby putting her on the spot before the villagers would know about this. Hold on. So you're going to lay... Say she laid false accusations on me? Yes. That's good. Hmm. Good. Do you see why I like you? You have little sense. You have little sense. Why are you still standing here? Go, what are you waiting for? Go, go quickly! You see, I invited you here for this talk alone because I want to know the reasons behind your actions. I want to know what, what, what led you to poison the king of Ikenga kingdom. How could you be so wicked? How did you get to this point? What, 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 what possessed your mind to commit such I am not wicked, Father. I am not evil. I know you might not believe this. But you and my sister are the most important people in my life. I love you too so much. Love you too so deeply. People might think I am strong, wicked, 
and almighty evil no nonsense princess but that is just the front because on the contrary deep down in my heart I am just a baby so I have to put up such front to defend myself May the gods forbid that I take the life of my father. I can never do such a thing. I only wanted to incapacitate you. But I wanted you to be mute, to be incapacitated, so I can be able to do what I want to do. Because I know if you were strong, and all yourself you would have married off Chison to Nelson and that would happen over my dead body. That is why I did what I did. Who is this Nelson to you? Look, I want you to open up to me. I want you to, to, to pour out your heart. This pain that you have bottled up for so long in your heart, for too long, in fact, it has led you to commit evil upon evil, evil after evil. Why? Tell me. So should I understand it to mean that the school authority is under the cultist power? I have not said that. But no, 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 there is no need for you to explain your reason. This guy has made my life terrible in this campus. As a matter of fact, he has set up a structure to frustrate me every day. Constantly I am living in fear in this school. I am no longer concentrating on studies or anything. And I put this case to you because I believe the school authority is in the best position to handle this, this, this situation. And now you're telling me this. Unfortunately, there is little or nothing I can do about it. Young Descoba, as you said, has created a frightening structure on the campus. His case has come up twice in the Senate, and twice it has been dropped. Why? Are you saying he is now law unto himself? No, he is not law unto himself. Unfortunately, the law enforcement authorities we can run to seem to have been compromised. Once you mention his name, they all develop cold feet. I, I, I hate the system. The ordinary person will be trampled on and the system cannot do anything about it. This is not fair. Let me even ask you, what does he want? What else does he want if not to sleep with me? And he's going about it the wrong way, the, the, the most insulting way ever. I believe the system should be able to do something to protect you on this campus. Give me two days. The same system you said has been compromised. Give me two days. We'll see what we can do about it. Thank you for your time, Professor. You're welcome. Thank you.
You can't resist me on this campus and have peace. Why are you this terrible? You asked the woman out and she said no. Now you are intimidating her with your cult. Yes, because no one says no to young school. I'm the king of this campus. This campus belongs to me. Whatever I want, I get. Oh, you will not get me. I will never have anything to do with you. For your information, I'm a princess. I will never have anything to do with loose lives on this campus, especially you. I know you're a princess. I know you're a saint. And that's why I want you as a scuba blood tonic. It's either I have you or I will frustrate you out of this campus. And that's a period. You can only have me in your dreams. That's the only place it can happen. I know the dream. I know the dream. But you must be mine. Dego. Your papa gave me money, sir. See bag where you carry come. Stand up there. Have you seen down? They're mad. Now me, you want you, you, you want to use me shy for these camps? My friend, shut up. You see this walk? The way they carry on for head, not for here. So that I won't put you for trouble because just do like this. You do mad. You don't use me, Shai. For your information, now maybe Escobar. Nobody uses you for these camps. You don't understand? This city where you sit down, many people don't sit here. What, what, what have I done? Oh, nice question. I will tell you what you've done, but before then, let me update you. I know where your daughters live, in the island. And I know where your mother lives. Me with them. If I can, if I visit her, my baby soup. No. No. If I visit her in anger, I could put your heart to pieces. Once they bring my case to your table, die it. Do you fucking understand? Yes. yes. No matter yes. this name, once they mention my name, die it. Else I will make this seat so hot and uncomfortable for you. Yes. Yes. They mad. She said everybody did they help? No. Help her. Sorry. Don't be everybody. Don't be everybody to the help. Make you not go die where you want help. Once they bring my case to this table, die it. Okay. Do you fucking understand? Yes, yes, I do. The next time I visit, I will carry my baby come, and that will be your last day. Ah, no, no. Oga, you see for this campus, mind your business. If you love your life, mind your business. Don't you should be the man of life. Don't they carry this work for her? They're mad. How can I go buy my mother? The next time you stress me, I swear I will chop you into pieces. No jokes. Ask questions. Maybe be a scuba. They hear me? Mind your business, else I will make you my business. And you know what that means. They're mad. You want the phone help for my mother? Don't be everybody that they help. If they bring my case for your people, die. You know, feel me? No matter what in the caricom for your table, once you hear my name, it, I say what it died. Okay. Else I will start from your mother in the village. That fool has threatened to go dirty on me if I don't 
do what he wants. I don't know what he what he has in stock for me. But I'm scared. I am no longer safe in this campus. But the last time I was here, you said you were going to do something about it. So I, I came to find out if you have done anything about it. Maureen, I've been thinking. Is it not better you go for the option of peace? I don't understand. What do you mean? Can't you give him what he wants? Prof. Prof, I cannot believe you just said that to me. I am equally sorry. Very sorry saying this to you. But I feel it will solve the problem. Nobody will know what happened. And you will graduate without stress. There is something I need to understand about the security of this country. Yet we have men and women parading themselves as security agents. I thought your concern should be how to get young Escobar off your back. Why are you talking about how law else, enforcement agencies? How else am I going to get that useless son of a cow off my back? If not with the law enforcement agencies. Clearly, they are not doing their job. The people who are supposed to protect the people and properties are not doing their job. That is why someone like Young Escobar can take full control of this campus and nobody, not even a single person, is doing anything about it. You sound as if it is something new. Well, that is his stock in trade. He's like chameleon, always changing, coming up with new ways to frustrate and torment me in this campus. Which is why I am thinking of leaving this, this country. You, you didn't just say that? Of course I did, Ella. Wait, you mean you want to depart from the country just because of young school? Ella, what would you have me do? Like I said, this guy is a chameleon. I don't know what this guy has in stock for me. I don't know what his next in line, his next line of action will be. I don't know if I wake up tomorrow and step into the campus, somebody's going to waylay me and get me molested. Because obviously that, that might be what he would do. So before he, he does something silly, I have to, I have to get out. I have to be far from here. But you're not the only one under his watch. Why would you be the one to run first? Ella. Can you help me break into his network and find out what he is planning? <laughs> Why do you think I can do that? Because I saw you talking to one of his boys yesterday on campus. Ella, listen. We are one step closer. All I need from you is to get close to this guy. Find a way to find out what he is planning for me. you just told me the truth or something you just said to scare me away? Papa, Maureen, you know me too well to know that I don't say anything when I'm not sure. Okay. You asked me to get information from Romanos, right? Yes. I did that already. And what their plan is, is what I told you. To stop me from taking second semester examinations. 
how does he favor them? I mean, what do they stand to gain? You are asking what a group of court members stand to gain? Yes. <laughs> Come on, Marie. Don't be ridiculous. Ella, don't say that. Really don't. Because I, I, I don't get it. They want to stop me from taking examinations next semester. So how, I mean, how is it going to favor them? How are they going to gain from me not writing examination next semester? But really, what is their gain? Huh? Wait, you are asking? Because I, I don't get it. Oh, okay. They have frustrated you by adding an extra year to you. Yes. So, the act of frustrating people is what they stand to gain. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what they stand to gain and that's why they are cultists. That that son of a beast will not just let me be. I really don't know what I did wrong to deserve this. Did he, did he do anything again? The son of a cow was here today. He came here to show me pictures of my nudes that he has in his phone. It's a lie. I am not lying, Ella. I saw it. How did he get your nude? I don't know because he showed it to me and not just one, not two, not three, a lot of it. <laughs> Wait. Oh God. That's what I'm asking. Where did he get your nude from? Because I know very well. I can vouch for you that you've never been intimate with this guy. You... Do you see that glasses he always have on? Yes. The glasses is always wearing. Yes. It's a special made. What the glasses does is it's it esponges your, your clothes. Keeps you stuck naked. And then and that son of a cow has a camera that is connected to that glasses that is always in his pocket. So all those while that this guy haunts me in campus to talk trash, to, 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 to frustrate my life, what he was actually doing was taking pictures of me naked. And he has a lot of it, plenty of it in his phone. I, I saw it. Oh, this, this is really shocking. How can one go this far? As a matter of fact, as I am talking to you right now, he came today with that glasses and I'm sure he took more pictures. How did I get to know what he was doing? I confronted him and then he opened up and told me what he has been doing and then showed me pictures on his phones. So it's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four. I mean pictures of me naked and there is nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it. God, God. What, what does he want from you? Why are you asking dumb questions? What kind of dumb question is that? What he has always wanted, of course he wants to sleep with me or he uploads the picture online. And now, you, now you see why I am devastated. Now you see why I am troubled. Because I, I don't understand why all this is happening to me. Why me? What? Girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um... But, but, can't you just get down with him and be free from all of this? Hella, what did you just say? I'm just being real. I mean, I know some students in the past, 
they had to give in to his demand just for their, just, you know, just to have this peace of mind. Now I just confirmed you're not worthy of being my roommate. You're not worthy of being in this room with me. Is it? Yes, Your Majesty. Go and um, call the note for me. Tell him it is urgent. I want to see him right away. Go. Yes, Your Majesty. My angel, you look so moody and troubled. What can the matter be? I'm afraid there is bad news, Father. Bad news? Then let me hear it immediately. Kelvin has called off his engagement with my sister. Why? Why would you do that? I don't know, Father. Apparently, he broke up with her and she's been crying about it. Why would Kevin do such a thing? I was under the impression that both of them were in love and uh, wanted to get married. Exactly. I don't know what went wrong and I could barely hear a thing she was saying. She was crying so bitterly, Father. I can't remember the last time I saw or heard her cry like that. I've been trying to call her back and she's not even peeking. I'm extremely worried because I don't nah. want anything to happen to my sister. No, nah, don't worry, nothing will happen to her. Hmm? Oh, let me make this call. What is this bad news that I'm here? Hello, yeah, Mori. Listen, 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 please. I want you to listen to me carefully. Come back to Nigeria. Yes. I want you to come back. Okay, yes. Uh, listen, I know that, I know all that, okay? Yeah, yes, he broke your heart, oh, fine. But then, you are a princess. There's no way you can run away from your uh, fatherland. Is it? Listen, you have to come back and finish your degree program. Now listen, forget about him. Hey, my daughter, you are a strong woman. Strong and steely woman. You're strong. You took after me. Good. So come back and finish your degree program. Forget about him. You understand what I'm saying? Forget about him. Come back to Nigeria and uh, finish your program. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Looking forward to seeing you, huh? All right. Listen, big sis. This is not the end of the world. You cannot put your life on pause because he ended the relationship. Yes, of course I know it is not the end of the world. You can trust me on this. You know what I think? It's about time you come home. I know what I'm talking about. It's not going to make a difference as long as you keep calling and texting and begging him. You're doing all of this because you're all by yourself out there and you're lonely. But then if you return to Nigeria, you'll feel better. Yes, big sis, because we care about you so much. We will shower you with all the love that you need and deserve. Father has been very worried about you. And now I'm getting even more worried because you're out there by yourself. I know. I know it's difficult. 
Which is why I'm asking that you return to Nigeria. You will feel better as soon as you do. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not the end of the world, sis. Listen. You just have to come to Nigeria. As soon as you step your feet back home, you'll be okay. So are you promising to come? No, you have to promise me you're coming. Please, big sis. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> You know I love you so much, right? Everyone here loves you, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, she agrees. <laughs> I can't wait to hug you. Mm -hmm. Very well then. Promise me you're not going to cry again. You can't promise me that. Why, sis? I know, but you have to try. You're stronger than this. I promise. Oh, I love you. Okay. Yes, I look forward. Mm hmm <laughs> Bye. I'm expecting you. Okay. <sighs> <Gosh>. <sighs> this must be so hard on her. But why are some men so cold-hearted? Almost five years of being in a healthy relationship and he ended it just like that? And it's not as if she cheated on him. Anyway, I'll get the chance to see my sister again. Can't wait to spoil her with love. She is not herself right now. And um, I don't know exactly what she'll be doing. Oh, Father. You worry too much. I'm sure she's going to be fine. My sister, I know, cannot do anything to hurt herself. I've been speaking with her on phone since then, and she promised to be back anytime from now. Really? Yes, Father. Oh, that'd be great. Honestly, I'll be so happy to see her back in this palace. Likewise, Father. Huh? I have uh, missed her so much. Mm, yeah, good girl. Thank you, Father. Well, Father, mm. it's about time you get some rest. So I'll walk you to your room and put you to sleep. I still can't sleep. Father, why? I've just told you she'll be fine. You don't trust me. No, why not? <laughs> I like your mother. <laughs> you always think yeah, I'm a little that, girl, yeah. but I can't, Father. Try yeah. me. Try me. Where's your car? Oh, you left it upstairs.
promised me you were going to stop thinking about Kevin. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Why? You know, a man named Escobar told me I was going to lose Kelvin. At that point, I thought he was joking. He said I was going to lose Kelvin. And that he is the only one in this life that will marry me. What? I didn't take him serious. I thought he was joking. And now, I have lost Kelvin. He wasn't joking after all. Who is this man? What gave him such audacity? To do this to a princess. You have to report him to father. He will pay. And this is also why you need to stop keeping things away from us. We are your family. But then you always keep things to yourself and end up suffering alone. You're too discreet, sister. Please, open up to us. Always. It's okay, sis. I'll be fine. Okay? But as for Escobar, Escobar, you inflicted this pain in my heart. But believe me when I tell you, you will hear from me soon. I'll see you soon. Trust me when I see you. I will see you pretty soon. Sister. I honestly think it's about time. You let go of Kelvin. I know it's hard, but you have to try. Prices to forget everything about him, please. And as for this dude, guy, boy, man, whatever he is, he does have to pay for doing this to a princess. Report him to father. Don't worry, sis, I can handle him. I can handle Escobar. Are you sure? this line. Let me ring this line and see if it rings. His phone is ringing. A 
it's, it's actually ringing. Hello? Hello, Nelson? Is this Nelson? Young Escoba. Nelson, I wish you dead. All my life, all I pray for you is to die and rot in the deepest part of hell. I wish you die and rot for what you did to me, for destroying my life, for destroying my degree program, my friends, everything that mattered to me. I wish you die and rot and the vultures, they feed on you because you deserve nothing good. You deserve to die. And that's exactly what I am praying for you every day of my life. Did you just say okay? Did you just answer me okay? Nelson, I will see you Sunday. A day that is not too far from now very soon and trust me it will be my turn to laugh I never graduated from any Nigerian university. He frustrated me so much that even the law enforcement agencies could not do anything to me. The offer of the Kenga Kingdom could have Taking care of him. The fuck could have put him in his place. Why didn't you mention this to me? I was given the impression that my nude was scattered all over the public domain. That I had to leave the country in a hurry. I didn't wait to find out if it was true or not. came to marry my sister and I knew you would have you would have just succumbed and, and handed her over to him you were going to marry her off to him I had to put you to a halt I did not do what I did because I wanted to kill you I did it because I wanted to save my sister I wanted to save this family because I hate him. I hate him. Father. I am sorry. I am sorry. But I was hot. I am still hot. And I am very bitter. The last thing I want to happen in this family is for that cow to marry my sister. So I had to do what I did. I am sorry. You went too far. You have no right. Absolutely no right to take a life you cannot create. You, you and my, my priestess have Hurt me so much. You, you have, you have, you have caused me so much pain. I am 
I'm so sorry, Father. Father, please forgive me. I did what I did because I did not want to grant Chisol's wish. I didn't want her to marry Nelson. I don't want it to ever happen. I am sorry. Please forgive me. A hunter came to me and my late wife, Queen Susan. He told us on his way to check his trap, he saw a basket, beautiful basket, kept by the side of the road on the way to the stream that belongs to his hometown. Out of curiosity, he advanced to take a good look at the basket. And behold, right inside the basket was a baby sleeping. Beautiful baby. He took the baby to us. My wife rejected the baby. Could have been a sacrifice, could have been uh, an, a, a cursed infant. Uh, so she rejected the baby. Right. She did not want anything to do with that child. But I stood my ground. I'm the man of the house after all. So I took the baby from the hunter and thanked him. After all, then, we were still barren. We had no child after years of marriage. So I saw it as a blessing. Four years later, my wife gave birth to Chisum. But unfortunately, she died in the process. That child in the basket was you. Me. Do not make me regret my actions, my benevolence, accepting you into my home, making you my daughter when you are not, making you a princess. Oh my God. Father, you did not tell me. All these years, no. Nobody told me. See, I love you. I love you as much as I love Jason, my daughter. But. You, you, you have, uh, you have betrayed me. You have, you have caused me pain. You have, you have, you and, and, and my, my, my chief priest have done the abominable. You have, you have, you have caused me pain that, that, that will lead, lead to my death. I will banish you from my kingdom. Father. You do not deserve to call me father. Father. Where is Jesus, my daughter? look to me that you are doubting me that would be suicidal because you are the only one I trust in this circle sister 
I do not doubt you. Honestly, trust me. I don't doubt you. Listen now. I have made consultations. And I have made some analysis. And all are pointing at one direction. I met a soothsayer. And he is still saying the same thing. And what is he saying? That I am the cause of the problem? How is that even possible? You and I know that Nelson is not my biological son. But he has grown to become my son. There is no woman anywhere under the face of this earth that will know the solution to her son's problem and will not do something about it. <sighs> It is not as if you know and decided to keep mom. Mm -mm. You may be acting on ignorance, and that is the more reason I said you should accompany me to the seer. Let us go and meet the seer. He has a lot to tell you. He has a lot of explanations to all this. That is where we are going to have problem. Yes, that is where we are going to have problem. I am not going to play into their hands by going to visit a Dibia. And who said Asiya is a Dibia? What difference does it make? Sister, Asiya is a Sutseya. He is not a Dibia. He does not prepare charms. Let us go. Oh, follow me. He will explain to you. There are certain things you need to understand. Bikono. Oh. Uloma, I still insist. I am not going to play into their hands. It is not about them. It is about your son. That they are trying to deny his rightful position in his father's kingdom. Don't you get it? Let us go. He will explain things to you the way you will understand. Let us go. Now listen to me, Uloma, and listen very good. In case you've forgotten, let me remind you that my husband was a king and my son, Nelson Chima, will become king. There is no soothsayer or anyone anywhere in this world that is going to change that. Don't let them deceive you. They have eyes, but they can see. How can a priest be so confused? The bond between the mother and the son. The queen is not telling us the truth. The son is her blood. The priest have eyes, but they cannot understand a simple mystery. I pray for the speedy recovery of my dear friend, Prince Nelson. What do you say? I am not so happy you got the information that Nelson sees me at the palace and you decided to do nothing. What do you want me to do? Close that, they say breeds insult. I am so sure that he wouldn't have seized you had it been you gave him the gap he requires. No. But you decided to be so close to me. I could not have given him that gap. His late father extracted a promise from me to guide him. And I am not one of those men who will relent on the promises made to the dead. If you the one we hold in high esteem. The one we still refer to as the seer of Dioka Kingdom. If you are referring to Silas Ibizim as Nelson's father, that means I have a very big problem. What problem did you speak of? His late father called him son. 
they both shared father and son relationship. And why should we separate them now? You know, I am actually getting involved in this because the young man wants to become king. How can a stranger come and become king in a town where someone like me lives? That's not possible. You know, had it been he went for something else, I wouldn't have bothered. But he decided to target the office of the king. And somebody has to resist him, and that's what I'm doing. And what tells you that Nelson is not from this land? You see, eh, for what I have gathered, there is an important revelation that the gods and the ancestors of this land want to make using you. But they are not doing that because you have, you have given your soul to money. Is it possible for you to reinvent yourself? I mean, is it possible for you to shun love for money and go back to the same seer we used to know so that you can be the one who will give us this all important revelation? Can you? And what other revelations do you speak of? Okay, okay. A king is coming, and the secret shall be revealed to all men in this palace. Yes. I know you hate me so much, and... Helen, point of correction. I don't hate you. I hate the fact that you are trying so hard to frustrate my life. On the contrary, I have an information that will help you trace where your father came from. You do? Yes. Tell me about it. At least, let me in. There's a special maid in the palace of Ikenga that can help you trace your origin. The palace of Ikenga is a place I know very well. Like, very well. Why would be right to even call me a stakeholder in that palace? There is no, there's no special maid at that. Who then do you speak of? The maid who accused Princess Morin of poisoning her father. Her name is Nadi and she has the gifts of the gods. She can help you with this. Helen, I'm so disappointed in who you have become. Please don't dismiss what I'm saying. What are you saying? What are you saying? What have you even said? You have succeeded in wasting my time and I'm not happy about it. Obina, I remember you once told me if you knew your father, you would have been greater than this. So what is, what is happening? And that explains why you have to come up with this. Oh. Helen, the same maid who confirmed the fact that she didn't know what she said is who you are asking me to go and meet to help solve my problem. No. Please. Oh, Obina. Obina, please do not dismiss her without trying. I gathered the information that, that she's back to the palace. Why not give it a try? Something good might happen from there. Obina, okay. please. From what I know, this issue of not knowing your father is really disturbing you. And then you and I have discussed this at a point we decided to leave things for God. Phillips, I'm happy you remember. I've given up already. <coughs> My mother goes emotional each time I raise a topic. She goes to remind me how everyone wanted her to get rid of the pregnancy 
and how she blanks everyone, fought against all forces to give birth to the child. So I don't want to bother her anymore. I've resigned to fate. If it pleases God to reveal my true identity and where I come from. So please. Uh, so, tell me, Obino, why will you dismiss the meat Helen told you about? Philip, don't be ridiculous. Come on. I know the maiden question. How old is she? For her to be the one to, that will tell me my story, where I come from, and my root. How? If I'm getting you right, is it her age you're having problem with? Or you're questioning the gift of the gods in her life, Obina? Phillips, I don't want to talk about this again. Please. Please. Just let me be the way I am. <laughs> Obina. You see this maid issue, eh? No be joke. Obina. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. You shut up, man. Shut up and stop speaking abomination into my ears. How could you kidnap your own sister? Your own sister! And then turn around to accuse innocent people. Father, they are not innocent. I did this because I wanted to save the image of this family. Besides, I didn't kidnap Chisum. I kept her in a safe place, away from their evil eyes. You are making me regret so many things. So many things. Father, I am sorry. Please. Father, more importantly, we need to salvage the Prince of Dioka. It has been revealed that he needs me to become normal again. Will you stop mentioning that, that idiot's name here? What is wrong with you? Or do you want me to slap it out of you? Father! Father, what is wrong with this girl? Why is she calling his name here? Will you stop this? Will you stop playing God over your own sister? <laughs> Father! Father, what is it? Father, what is it? Let me get you water. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Sure. Father, should I call in the doctors? Father, oh, please. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. It's okay, it's okay. You, you. Father, please. It's okay. You have to stop fighting everybody. The gods are revealing so many things to us. And you, I don't see how you can stop the gods. Because you can't. I am sorry, Father. This is not going to happen. Adesi, I know where you're coming from. But I'm going to tell you that your fears have been demystified. I'm here for something serious. I have no idea of what you're talking about. But one thing I am sure of is you brought my sister here because you have agreed to marry her off to Nelson. But Father, let me tell you, that is going to happen over my dead body. Over the years, we have underrated Nede. Everything she said, we dismissed with a mere wave of the hand. But I have discovered that in her dwelled all the visions of our ancestors. How do you mean? Because I have no idea how Nedi got into this conversation. How did you manage to smuggle in Nedi into this conversation? We are talking about you marrying my sister off to a beast, to, to, to a son of a cow. I will tell you what she told me that made me come here. It has nothing to do. I had a dream about you last night. It was made clear to me that you are the embodiment of the visions of our ancestors. 
That is why I called you. I am happy you called me my king. Chisom and Prince of Dioka are not destined to be man and wife. How do you mean? Both of them are in love and um, I have decided to allow them to get married. Blood may marry blood in other kingdoms on earth. But the sacredness of our journey will not allow that happen in Igbo land. My king, I see blood. And the blood has cancelled the marriage. What blood are you talking about? The blood that has crippled every effort to bring them together as man and wife. Their relationship is a build up to something. It will be revealed to you when you visit the palace of Dioka Kingdom. I made further inquiries and I discovered that the confusion in Dioka is because the prince they are planning to make king is not from Dioka. I don't know somebody. Says who? Says who? No, tell me. Says who? Mother of Dioka Kingdom. This woman was my very first love. What? Listen, I am not interested in this love story. I heard when you said that I am a royal crown prince. Please, can you expatiate on that? I was ordered to come here. My forces mightier than me. Now I know why. They want me to explain the mystery. And who the hell are you to explain mystery to us? Who is this thing? This man here is the king of Ikenga. He has a son who men of Dioka have labored to make king but failed. Sir, you are the son. Huh? How will you say he is my son? Well, you just called the king your first love. When you both parted with, you left her with pregnancy. Should I? Who, 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 who is this maiden? Just answer the question. When he left, you found out you were pregnant for him. And you gave birth to twins. Maiden, and how come she knows so much? She is the one with all the visions and revelations of her ancestors. Now, answer the question. When she says you have twins for me, is it true? The twins were separated at birth. 
the female child found herself as the princess of a kingdom, while the male child, the prince of Dioka. This makes no sense. This makes absolutely no sense. The same person who frustrated me so badly forced me out of this, this country. Same person I have perfected plans to send to, 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 to prison. You are telling me this man is my brother. Not just my brother, my... My twin brother. How? Yes, he is your twin brother. The queen here cannot explain how it happened. The royal heads of Dioka found him as a child and took him in. About the same time, the late queen lost her pregnancy and died afterwards. My queen, your son was not just named as their son. The king hired you to look after this child while her sister was already the princess of Ikenga. Hi. Hmm. Now I understand what Dinka has been saying. Now I know the reason everything failed. I know you are talking about the one that was being locked up. Yes, he saw it. But the ancestors did not reveal it to him clearly. My queen, if you doubt me, you can go for DNA. I've heard about the special maid who narrated everything. I've equally made up my mind to go see her, to see if she could possibly help tell my story of where I come from. Since you believe so much in the maiden, why didn't you rush to go see her the moment you learnt about her? I was trying to be sure of things around here. But after she revealed um, the story about the Prince of Dioka and the Princess being twins, a revelation that has been confirmed, scientifically correct. I made up my mind to go see her to know if you could tell me where I come from. Well, there is no need to go see her, okay? Because someone mightier than her is here. That's you? Please. What do you know? I'm eager to know my origin. Something tells me that if I know where I come from, my life will turn around. Why are you looking at me like that? You think what I'm saying is a lie or something? Your mother is the only one who will confirm this information. No, no, please, please. Leave my mother out of this. My mother has no idea where my father comes from. I have made up my mind not to even discuss that with her anymore. For every time I bring this up with my mother, she is left emotionally wrecked. So please. Let us not dwell on sentiments as one willing to be king. Let us not allow sentiment to overtake us. What do you mean? Call your mother. Let her answer some questions. From the answers she gives, you will be able to find out the truth. I want you to know that the princess of Ikenga loves you so much. She has been willing to become your wife and has not been able to do so because of the twist of the gods. What do you mean by twist of the gods? Good. Your mother did not lie when she told you that the man who fathered you died in an accident. That's 
was how the gods wanted it. They wanted it to remain that way until they are able, or rather willing to reveal it. What are you talking about? Hmm? The news has gone round that you are literally confusing the people. And that was why the Detroit Prince locked you up. Are you here to confuse my son, Nicole? The man who was reported to have died in an accident 35 years ago actually died last year. Please, I need you to explain everything that there is. Everything. The girls used strong means to prevent Nelson from becoming the king of Dioka. Uh, we all know that. Like I already said, what has that got to do with my son and I? What? He was dethroned so that the true heir who is the rightful prince to emerge. Uh, please, how do you mean? Don't cover anything, just open it all. The man who got your mother pregnant in Calcina during the youth call actually became the king of Dioka. What? Silas, Ibizi. My goodness, that's the name. Yes, I remember. That's the name. He was the king of Dioka until he died last year. The accident affected him so much that he could no longer impregnate a woman. But before he died, the messenger of the gods told him, or rather the meeting king of Dioka, because the messenger of the gods told him that he has a son who will one day come back at the right time. And that son is you. The gods must have a reason why they allowed all that to happen. If not, it wouldn't have happened. Now that the reality of my actions has dawned on me, I feel so empty inside. I feel... I feel this void. Why would you say something like that? All these years we've been fighting each other without knowing we are twins. Now that we are back and never to separate, we should be happy about that. Nelson, there is nothing to be happy about. I poisoned our father. I poisoned him to make him weak so he would not hand over Chisum to you. I've heard all that. But after poisoning him, he is still alive. That simply shows that the gods are aware of everything that has been happening. I don't think they are aware of this. Because the poison is gradually killing our father. This morning I was with him, he vomited blood. That was why I had to call in the doctors. Yeah, yeah. God, I feel so bad. I feel so bad knowing I'm the reason this man is going through all this pain. And it's killing me inside. Listen, I understand how you feel perfectly. But I want you to know that all that happened 
because of the twist of the gods. So let's look up and hope for a better tomorrow. Honestly, I never wanted to come back to this palace. But the king reached out to me himself and insisted that I, Ned, must come back to the palace. <laughs> Will I disobey the king? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I have no option than to come back here. And here I am. <laughs> you don't have to disobey the king. Of course. I'm really happy for you, Ned. You, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Did you just say that? Please, don't even make it appear like you are happy for me. Uh -huh. You are not. I know your state of mind. But it's okay. It's well. Mm. I know, right? I can sense the feeling. But see, maybe, I'm deeply sorry for everything. Please, Please <laughs> leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, wait. Wait. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I accept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Chukuru, wait. <laughs> I have an important question, which is what is going on between you and the Jay-Z in this palace? To the extent that he even came out fully for you. <laughs> Not you know. He said he is moved in his spirit to help me. And that is yeah. it. He's just a good man. To the extent of him taking you to his grandmother's house. Or uh, is there anything special he's you know, planning with <laughs> uh -uh. Please, my dear, some questions are better left unanswered. Uh -huh. I do not have answer to this your question. Thank you. Are you asked? So, girls, what has been happening in the palace since I left? Hey, my lord. I came to know how prepared you are. How, how do you mean? What preparation are you talking about? It's been confirmed that I'm the son of the late king of the Oka kingdom. Not just the son of late king of the Oka kingdom, but the only one who came from his loins. For he lost his manhood through accidents after he had you. Even our late queen got pregnant through another man. She died because she was trying to impose it on the late king. Okay. So. What preparation are you talking about? What do you want me to do? For you to become the crown prince who will later become the king of the Oka kingdom. We will expose you to the Ogidi of the Oka kingdom. Ogidi? I don't know what that means. It's a crucial ritual that must be performed by one who will become king. The dethroned prince did not go through this because our late king intentionally made him avoid it. Okay. Does it mean he was aware that the, that the dethroned prince wasn't his biological son? It's a possibility. And also, maybe the reason the ghost never allowed us crown him king. Okay. Oh no. Brief me about this ritual. What do I need to do? Nothing. Just make yourself available tomorrow. I will take you to the chief priest where you will lift the Ogidi. And once you are stable with the Ogidi on your head, then you will be declared the crown prince of the Oka kingdom. And your coronation comes with the full moon. Oh no, just that. Just the way it is. And I'm stable. Yes. <laughs> oh no. I can't boast of knowing the ritual of Ogidi. But I'm confident that I'm ready for it. <laughs> the girls cannot bring me this far. And let me chicken out. Hey! It is said that blood does not lie. The more you speak, the more I see our late king in you. Get ready for tomorrow. I forgive you. Thank you, yes. Father. Thank you, Father. 
I free you from every guilt. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. As your father and your king, by the powers vested in me, I bless you this day. You shall be happy and fruitful in your husband's family. You You shall be blessed in every way. In all ramifications of life. You shall be blessed. You, see. you shall see your children and your grandchildren, even your great grandchildren. You see. Thank you. Thank you father. so much, Father. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You will be happy in your husband's house, you say? Yes, Father. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's let him rest, okay? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Father, I will come back to check up on you. It's okay. okay. I'll see you later. Thank you, Father. <laughs> The most important thing is that he was able to perform all the rituals that made you the prince, the crown prince of Ikenga kingdom before he passed on. Oh no. It's painful that I grew up without a father or sibling. Only for me to find my father and settle with him. Then he passes away. It's quite unfortunate. But that's the will of the gods. It's the will of the gods. So why are you saying I can't see my late father's remains? My prince, you cannot. You are going to be the king of a Kenga kingdom. And that means you are not allowed to see the remains of any dead person. No, you can't. Including my father. Dead body is dead body. So, what about his funeral arrangement? How far have we gone? Oh, well, the elders are already on it. Mm -hmm. And so, I suggest you start to decide on the maiden you have as a wife to assume the throne of Ikenga kingdom. You must have a wife. You must have a wife. Oh no, my prince. Where can I find an emergency medium? Simple. I feel you should look inwards and look for a maiden that has the gifts of the gods. Yes. <laughs> 
Father, how come you are very different? How do you mean? I am a king. Naturally, I am expected to be different. Father, even amongst kings, Father, your difference is still clear. Now I will ask you to explain where you are coming from. Um, you have just my sister and I, but you've never allowed it to bother you the way it bothers other men when they do not have a son. Only the one who questions the gods allows such things to bother him. A female child is a child as much as the male child. Men who are men give their girls the support they need in life. A female child, from all I know, hardly disappoints. Oh, <laughs> Father. <laughs> oh. Only few men reason the way you do. Thank you. <laughs> You're truly an honorable man. Thank you. And I'm extremely proud to be your daughter. Oh. I love you so much, Father. I love you too, my daughter. <laughs> I really look forward to the day a suitor will come for your hand in marriage. Oh, Father, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Hey, listen, <sighs> once you indicate interest that this is the man with whom I want to live my life, leave the rest to me. <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're welcome, man. I love you. Justify what I did. There is no justification for what I did. But I am begging you for one who was once your sister. Please forgive me. Forgive me. I 
I forgive you. I forgive you. This is very hard for me, but who am I? Who am I not to forgive the sister that has been protecting me? I forgive you. You're all that I have. You're all I have left. I just... I just pray that I can heal from this because the injuries are too much, that they are too much for me to bear. But I forgive you. to try to forgive yourself. Please. I can't. Sister, you are the only family I have left. Jesus, oh my God. You have to, please. Jesus, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> My prince, you are getting me confused. Why are you nice to me all of a sudden? I am still a maid in this palace. My dear, you are not just a maid. You are a special one with a special gift. <laughs> Have you forgotten you are the one who unraveled the mystery surrounding both kingdoms? Thank you once again. My prince, I will not allow anyone to thank me for that. These things were deposited in my spirit and I spoke out. The gods should be praised. He said, I have promoted you from a maiden to a princess. A prince? My, my prince, you are confusing me. I am Nedi, one of the maidens in this palace. I know. But I have decided to promote you to the position of a princess. And I have instructed the palace accountant to pay in some money to your account. You have a dinner to attend. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Thank you. I am so confused. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I will not be here asking questions. Fate has smiled on you. So just take advantage of it, my dear friend. <laughs> I don't know why I am so confused. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Beauty, all this while. 
Thank you so much, my prince, for the promotion. Honestly, I appreciate you so much. You're I welcome. am so happy with my new self. Now that my coronation is around the corner, I feel that the Mary with a special gift from our ancestors is in the best position to pilot the affairs of this kingdom with me. Is it what I am thinking? Yes. Be my queen. And I will have no reason to fear. Because of your special gift. My prince, honestly, I am speechless. I am always with you and yes, I will be your queen. <laughs> Thank you so much. What if I give you love? Your love is what I need. What if I give I mean, I have been following developments in the Oka Kingdom. And I know you are the one who is destined to be the king. The one Silas he before he got destroyed in that accident. I know all this. What I don't know, however, is what you have come to do in my house. Like you said, I am the one who has lifted the Ogidi. The one who is going to become king. I came to solicit for your partnership. I need a man like you when I become king. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you. I was warned by many people not to visit you. I said many things. But I've taken my time to follow through all the things you have done. And I came to the conclusion that you were just looking for ways to better the kingdom. I appreciate the fact that you are saying this. I remain the most misunderstood man in the history of Dioka Kingdom. I told him that Nelson is not going to become king in this land because he's a stranger. They decided to fight me and impose him on the people. It backfired. How did you know that Nelson is not from this land? Men who are men ask questions. So many families are in ruins today because the men in those families do not ask questions. So many kingdoms are scattered because men in positions of authority in those kingdoms do not ask questions. I became curious when Silas Ibezim, the late king, was very desperate to impose Nelson as the crown prince of this kingdom without exposing him to your kingdom. I started to ask questions and I found out that Nelson is not from this land. I confronted the king and instead of him to listen to me and solve the problem, he barred me from the cabinet and I decided there that I will be one man royal sword who will fight the blunder. I believe you know the rest. I plead with you to return to cabinet. If I must succeed as a king, I need a man like you. Please. You have my support already. I mean, you're already talking like a human being. And I am impressed. I gather that your coronation is coming with the full moon. I will be there. Thank you. I will be there. 
I know you have so much to say. But I'll plead with you not to explain anything. I understand everything that happened. But I still owe you an explanation. All this while I was toying with your emotions. And now I have realized all the pain I put you through. No, 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 please, please, please. No, please. Obina, I am deeply sorry. I am, I am sorry for everything I did. Please forgive me. It's okay. My love, no matter what happened, you are still the princess of Ikenga. I won't allow you kneel before me. And you are not a commoner. So I can kneel before you. Remember you are the crown prince of Tioka kingdom. Soon to be the king of the land. And that brings me to the reason I asked you to come. May I thank you very sincerely for accepting to come once again. Honestly, Obina, life has humbled me. So many lessons were thought within this period of time. I know everything. It's for our good. That is to prepare us for a better tomorrow and face the challenges. You say the nicest things. You are so sweet with words. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And thank you for not giving up on me. My love, I couldn't have given up on you. You are the water that springs up from my desert. The light that shines in my dark world. And the only air that I breathe. It is confirmed that I'll be the king of Dioka. All rituals have been performed and my coronation comes up with a full moon. So I ask you, is there any reason why you will not rule the kingdom with me when I become king? It's been a long time coming. And I will forever cherish this day. It's been a long time coming. And today will be the best day of my life. I will cherish it till I die. And yes, Obina, I will be your queen. For you are the best man ever. Thank you. Thank you. Save my life, life, but you know, no. You're a man, a but you know, no. What if I give you? What if I give you my heart? Your love is what I need. What if I give you love? Your love is what I need. Yes, you're gonna be more. Your love is what I need. Yes, you're gonna be more. Your love is what I need. Now we are in love. You are my happiness. Separate the love us. is what I need. The love is what I need. The love is what I need. 
Please help me now Help me 